hello dear friends today's topic is if you have to partition each side of an equilateral triangle xyz outside n into n equal parts by introducing lines parallel to the sides of triangle xyz which passes through these partitions points we get a grid formed by n square equal equilateral triangles outside one as shown in this figure you have to find the number of parallelograms contained in the grid so we mention here as let us be x this is y this is z so we are just representing the number of parallelograms let's say notation as s y z these are the parallelograms whose sides are parallel to the sides of x y or x z let's say if i want to say that uh, if i plot diagram here in this figure let this be x this is y this is z let's say we want to use this parallelogram like with this one if i shade this parallelogram here okay so this parallelogram you may use this as well now this parallelogram has the sides parallel to the xy as well as this side is parallel to the side xz so syz represents the number of parallelograms the number of parallelograms whose sides are parallel to the sides of xy or xz similarly we can define szx and x x y that is as s y z is a number of sides of parallelogram which is parallel to x y or x z similarly as z x represent the number of parallelogram whose sides are parallel to y z and y x this side and this side and s x y represent the number of parallelogram whose sides are parallel to z x and z y okay so by symmetry what we have is number of parallelograms of s y z is equal to number of parallelograms of x x y is equal to number of parallelogram of s z x all are equal so our answer should be our answer should be three times of you can say s x y z if i can calculate the s y z that is the number of parallelogram whose sides are parallel to the sides of x y and x z then our required answer is three times of s y z so let's see how we can calculate s y z here i am doing just simple one construction here i am just ex extending the ray x y to one unit y dash and z dash and just joining the side so what we get here is you can say is what we get here is as this one we just extending this one now draw the same parallel parallel lines here you can see here i had extended one ray here now draw the parallelograms of the same sides here joining these sides the figure may not be clean but i think you can understand what i would like to say i had extended this line sy dash and sz dash here you can see it like here so in this diagram i had just extended xy to y dash and xz to z dash here let p be the parallelogram in syz let i mean name this parallelogram as p okay so let p be a parallelogram in syz i will just write this one let p be a parallelogram p is any parallelogram in syz okay then by extending the sides of p so that we have four point of intersection on y dash z dash that is if i extend these sides here i get one point here y dash if i extend this side i get one point here let this be a if i extend this side here i can get a point b here and if i get this side here 
I get a get a point C here. Okay. So by extending the sides of P, so that we have four point of intersection on Y dash Z dash. I am writing here by extending the sides of P parallelogram, the sides of P on Y dash Z dash. We get four points. Four points of intersection on y dash z dash. That is conversely you can say as for every four points, for every four points on y dash z dash, you can determine. a unique parallelogram you can get a unique parallelogram p in s y z that is if you can get another parallelogram here let's say you can get a parallelogram of this way you can get any parallelogram let this is a parallelogram another parallelogram okay you can get any parallelogram whose sides are parallel to x y and x z let this parallelogram be you can see as q then corresponding to this parallelogram you can get a point here one point a again one point b here again you can say this point as d and one point z dash again here okay that is for every parallelogram you get get four point on y dash z dash and you can say it conversely as well for every four points on y dash z dash, you can get a unique parallelogram P in S Y Z. Okay, that is you can see as for the first diagram for the pink one. For the pink one diagram, you can say as okay, let it be for the pink parallelogram. you can get the points y dash a b and c and for green parallelogram you get four points let's say here a b d and z you get four point A, B, D, and Z. Main point is for every four points on Y dash Z dash, you can determine a unique parallelogram P in S Y Z. Okay. Thus, here is a bijection. Bijection that is one to one, one 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 two. Bijection between S Y Z and the set of group of four points on y dash z dash for every four points here you can get a set of group of four points y dash z dash here therefore the required answer is Three times of n plus two c four. As if I divide this into n parts, you can get n plus two points here. For every division here, when you extended this, you can get two point y dash z dash extra. So you get n plus two points here. So total is you have to choose n uh, four points out of n plus two. So you. Are